This video is sponsored by Chewy's Halal Vitamins, suitable for all the family. For an exclusive half price offer, enter code YT50 at checkout at www.chewies.com. They offer worldwide delivery plus no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. But let me tell you something. Allah has kept something far greater for you. Allah has kept something far greater than you, far greater for you in the storage. Something, I, I was telling my students in, in Rutgers University, I said, you want to know what Jannah is? Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described it in the best words. مَا لَا عَيْنٌ رَأَتْ وَلَا أُذُنٌ سَمِعَتْ وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِ أَحَدِكُمْ That you want to know Jannah? Think about it. Think about the most beautiful place. Whether it's LeBron's mansion or Shaq's Mansion. Think about the most beautiful place you know. You thought, you thought about it? That's where Jannat begins one step after that. Wherever you can think of, all of us can think of. Jannat begins one step after that. Begins where it ends, only Allah knows. Where it ends, only Allah knows. It's easy to do good deeds. To stay away from sins is the hard part. Surround yourself around good company. Surround yourself. I'm not telling you all of you guys should start, mashallah, go to the corner of the masjid and grab a bunch of tasbihs and seclude yourselves from, from the entire world. No. You, Allah created you for a different reason. Allah said, He told the angels, I created a different nation. They said, Ya Allah. Oh my Allah. They felt bad. It wasn't they weren't questioning the Almighty. They weren't questioning Him. They said, Ya Allah, are we not worshipping you enough? Is there something wrong in our worship? With Him thy glory? Is there something that we haven't done properly? Allah says, no. I want a different nation. I want a different group of people. Sometimes they forget, sometimes they remember. Sometimes they're busy in their own world. Sometimes they remember me. I was thinking the other day, there is no religion in the world no religion, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Taoism, uh, Buddhism, any other isms there are there. There is no religion in the world that, re that requires its followers to remember its creator more than Islam. Wake up in the morning, think about me. Commit a sin, at Zohar, you have to come and meet me again. You're, you're not honest in your transactions, you have to talk to me. Usher time comes, you're closing the store. Are you going to try to pocket some money? You're going to come out and have to talk to me. Sunset comes, you're going to your house. How are you with your wives and children? Maghrib, you're going to have to talk to me about it. Later on, when you're going to sleep at the darkness of the night, what are you about to do? Isha, come and speak to me first. Revolved around, constantly. Allah tells you, I'm here, I'm here for you. Ya ibadi alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim, la taqnatu min rahmatillah. Don't despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This mercy is for you. Rabbul Rahim, sanastadrijuhum min haythu la ya'lamun. Our teacher, Mawana Sutroxi Sahib, hafidahullah wa ra'ahu, used to say something very beautiful. He says, Allah gives you time and respite. He says, sanastadrijuhum. You know, you're, anybody ever went fishing? Right here, only you? You're like, yeah, right here, I got a pond in my backyard. <laughs> I do this, I do this all the time. Ah, uh, him, you know. I went to Bangladesh and literally everybody had their little pond in the backyard. I'm serious. In Silet, at least they did. And you know, I, I witnessed. And then in the morning, I woke up one morning and two people, two families were fighting over how much percentage of the fish they owned in that pond. I don't, I'm not lying. I, I have a video to prove it. I don't know if there's Bengali swear words in there or not, so I, I don't put the volume up. Anyway, when you fish, what, what do you do? You reel it out, right? You, you, you put the bait. The fish comes and nibbles a little bit. Get a little sprite. Pull it up. Yank it a little bit. Nibbles. You know, give it a little bit of time. Give it a little yank. One, two yanks. And then, before it knows what happens, you pull it up. Allah says, Take your time. We're, 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 the real is in the dunya. Surround it, don't worry. I'll give you a couple of, couple of times in your life when we get those bumps. And when... When the time is up, before you know it, Allah takes you. And there's nothing you can do. Ya sa ya waqifa ala qabri, la tata'ajjab an amri. Kuntu mithlak bil amsi, wa ghadan takunu mithli. The Arabic poet says, 
O person standing at the grave, لا تتعجب عن أمري. Don't be surprised. You know when somebody dies, what does everybody say? I was just with him. I was just with him. Just yesterday we were together. We were just chilling. Or you know we made plans for next week. We were about to go to a dawah together. And then what happens? All of a sudden he passed away. So the person, it's a hypothetical situation. He says, oh person standing at the grave. Don't be shocked. That oh how did he pass away so quick? Kuntu mithlak bil amsi. Yesterday I was just like you, wandering the earth, no fear in the world, nobody can touch me. Tomorrow you'll be like me, under the ground, helpless.